Hello, folks. Hope everything's having, uh, everyone's having a good day. This is, uh, one of those days where everything takes, like, ten minutes longer than you think it should. And, uh, I've been doing a little bit of research behind the scenes here, trying to make sure to, uh, upgrade and, I guess, troubleshoot some of the things, uh, some of the issues that we've been having in the last, I don't know, week, I guess, on, on the satisfactory saves. I do want to jump into Devastator today. I do want to see what's up there, uh, see if we can continue that. And um, we do have the Cybertron starting area as a backup, so that's cool. Uh, oh, Woo, Dan, Sweet Sandy, good to see y'all. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, Zero, CJ, Mind Trip Media with 100 bits in the lurk. Thanks for the uh, support there. Really appreciate that, Mind Trip. Uh, Zero, thank you very much for all of your behind the scenes help on the tech stuff. Um, as I mentioned in our DMs on Discord, I didn't get a chance to run all of the stuff that you suggested, um, but I did a few things. Uh, I'm ha I haven't done the, the NVIDIA drivers. I was running the newest. I am running the newest NVIDIA drivers. I didn't do a clean install because I've got some funky settings on my NVIDIA card that I remember doing, but I don't remember why I did them. I don't remember whether it was for Minecraft or whether it was for video recording. Either way, I know I've got some funky 3D settings on my NVIDIA card, and a clean install of the NVIDIA drivers would wipe those settings, and I don't remember what those settings are. So what I needed to go, go do is take some screenshots of my NVIDIA settings, and then go through and do that. So, and I do use the GeForce Experience, but only because it's the easiest way to update the apps, or update the drivers anyway. So, uh, we are um, going to jump into Satisfactory. As I mentioned, we're going to start off with the Devastator build, see where that's going to go. Uh, I'd like to try and do at least a little bit of that today. Um, if we start to get frequent crashes, then I may not keep the same... Uh, I might not switch the VOD. I, I don't know. Um, it's, uh, it's cleaner on the other side. It's a lot easier to put up youtube vods when i separate out the two projects um and it's just a matter of stopping the stream for a minute or two so i could try that um but we'll we'll see what's going to go on um i may also just stream for two hours from devastator and then switch just because if we want something different well we'll have to see uh anyway let's flip over here I'll load up into devastator Something that I have discovered is that I'm not getting the crashes when I am not streaming. So that is problematic. Because it doesn't narrow it down to just satisfactory, right? So right away, uh, in some of my tests to run satisfactory, not streaming, I was able to put together something larger uh, in the front here. And so what I'd like to do is continue what we were doing the other day and um, try to expand like the, the box. Like I kind of want the, the shape of this and the inside of this to be something more manageable. And I want to kind of give myself some more, I guess we'll call them parameters in terms of what my sizing is. And I think one way to do that is to roughly put in the shape of this. And I do have like a little thumbnail of Devastator I can throw up there. And kind of to give people the idea of what we're doing. I have a, other images. Um, there was another one that I quite liked too. Was it this one? No, that's the, that's the other thing. Where is... I think I have another image here. Uh, Devastator reference. Yeah, I quite like this one. So if I bring up um, the big one and I change that, Yeah, 
It's not going to let me move it. That's annoying. I really wish that OBS would give you better control with items that are in folders. It just, it doesn't, it seems to lock everything, which is really, really annoying. Uh, let's go with center on the screen. Anyway, that's another version of Devastator. I looked up a bunch of stuff from IDW Comics and some other artists and whatnot. And um, I really like the more simple shape of his chest plate for that one. Um, it's got kind of a more interesting look to it. And I think it might be easier to replicate. It's a little bit more streamlined. Um, I do like parts of the, the one that we have. So I might try and do like a mix of both. But um, for now, you can sort of see what I've got going on. This is like a rough, rough idea. So I still feel like the bottom part could be sort of tighter and cooler looking. Um, but what I want to do really is get the angle correct on these kind of the wing parts of it. I feel like it might even go from there. And then if we do... Let's just change this. Can you can you make these? Yeah, I can do standard for now. And then I need walls. So I think this might be a good angle. Unfortunately, you can't zoop these in the same way that you can other stuff. But I feel like that's pretty good. It might be a little bit lower. That's, that's about right. I think we can try the other side as well. And just do a different angle. And I guess we'll go with a shallower angle. As you get lost in the build, you missed a sub. I missed a sub. Ruben, how do I say this? Calcutti? I hope I'm saying that right. Subscribe to tier one. Thanks very much, Ruben. I really appreciate it. And thank you, Sandy, for the reminder. Uh, I don't think, did I, I, I heard that, I think. Did that make a noise and do all the normal things? Um, welcome in, Ruben. How did you find the stream? Oh, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe the other one is better. Here's a better example, too. If I bring up the board, right, you'll see kind of like the average angle of what the chess piece looks like. So the one in the middle is very steep, uh, the second from the left. But then the absolute top left is a lot more subtle and a little bit more chunky. And that's an actual image of a toy. Like, that's an image of a... A couple of these are images of toys, actually. It's only the ones... There's only a couple that are drawings. I think I prefer the one on the right as far as what I've got going on here. I prefer that side. Uh, Stormdance, I have no idea. 
Oh, shush. <laughs> Don't tempt the gods. But we're eventually going to run out of room horizontally, right? So I've got to be careful where, like, the wall of this factory is and how we adjust for that. So that's the other thing I'm trying to do, too. Let's figure out just how wide this has to go. It looks like it's only one and a half widths of the middle. So if we think about the middle as three wide, maybe five wide. Then this should only be that might be as wide as I want to take it. Because at this point, we might end up doing more vertical stuff. I mean, we're going to get more 3D with it, obviously. I'm just kind of mapping it out in, we'll call it 2D space, so to speak. I've also got a bunch of stuff I want to do on top of the actual symbol. So I feel like up here, I might need some more power. Up here, we might want to go a little taller. But I'm not sure whether that's going to be... I keep on closing my my images that I use for reference on my desktop. It's annoying. It feels like for most of this, if I wanted to make it look sort of like the robot at all, then the top of the building really wouldn't be too much beyond this. Then we'd be getting into like sort of where his head is. So I feel like we need to have a little bit of green... up in this area. I think I had planned to have this be at least one or two thick. Yeah, so I got room if I wanted to go up a little bit higher. Yeah, the hover pack is real nice. I agree, the hover pack is very, very nice. Hmm. I don't know, I feel like we might be okay with just bringing this down here and have this top part be purple. Again, it's not, I feel so, I'm kind of sketching. It feels so rough and not at all what I really want. So I'm going to have to come up with some much better ideas in terms of the, de the depth than the detail. I kind of like the idea of this going back a little bit farther. Oh, out of concrete. That's no good.
there's the game crash. Well, so much for that. So all I did was go into an inventory and the game, game crashed and I've got no idea why it keeps happening. So we're just gonna flip back over to the other save. I just don't have the patience to deal with this today. Um, machine inventory. Now I went into the, um, uh, just the container, just the container inventory. All right. Let me change the stream title. I guess I can get rid of all my devastator reference as well. Do, 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 do. The funny thing is that it doesn't seem to happen with the other save. My computer is definitely chuggy though. Like even typing in a Twitch check checkbox is a little bit tricky. Uh, do that. Wonder if we're moving in place in the containers would help if it's a one dot oh one a dot eight to one dot oh change bug. I don't know. It, it doesn't really matter though, Storm Dance, because that's we've been doing anything. We've been deleting rails. We've been in the base, out of the base. We've been flying through hypertube. Just there's something to do with what I think is some sort of rendering happening, and then my computer just has a fit and crashes satisfactory. So on the Cybertron save, uh, we are still keeping with the same Transformers theme because it's fun and uh, gives me some cool visual language to work from. Uh, we are in the grass fields and we have completed uh, tier two and we just started on tier three and we are about to expand to uh, coal power. We, we have the ability to search for coal and we are going to go that way. It's the farthest away, but I think it will be of great benefit to us. So that's where we're doing over that way. So I'm going to put um, a new map marker. You can see it. Coal. Say infinite marker view distance and large. Apply. All right. So that's where we're going. And we want that to be visible on our HUD. Beautiful. Now I don't have to go searching for it and scan for it again. And we just, we know the coal's over there. So I think a couple things I want to do. I want to uh, search for some hard drives as we go. That way we're going to also restock on our biomass. 
and stuff because we are low. These are got 200 in it, but we don't we're not making any more. So I'm going to make sure I've got enough um, inventory space and stuff to build the things I might need. Uh, I'm going to make a couple of miners. I think there was four nodes. Really, I just need probably five or six. I'll leave one going. And what else are we going to need? We're going to need a storage box. We're going to need... I'm not going to be able to... I might be able to do a single coal power plant while I'm over there really fast. Let's try that. What do these give? These give 75 megawatts. Production. We have a water extractor now. Grab one of those. Oh, I don't have any copper sheeting for pipes, so we won't be able to set this up right away. I have to do some cop I have to do some copper sheeting stuff first. Fluid buffer. So I may not be able to do a lot the first trip out there. Sword button is one of the best features in the game, I agree. Got some routers. Just to kind of stock up copper sheets. So that's something we can do here. I think what I can do. That's backed up. Let's change one of these to copper sheets. Because we seem to be pretty well stocked up as far as wire goes. So actually, let's change both of these to copper sheets. So we can build up some of those quickly. And what's that going to take? That's going to take 20 and 40. And I don't think this is making 40. 30. We can't underclock that stuff yet. Need some more concrete. That was full. Wow. Now we're doing for plates. They're going to be in here. Take all of those extra rods. And now we've got copper sheets coming in. Cool. We should also be able to make copper sheets if I had the ingots. It may be time to add a second smelter. I think we can afford it. Copper expansion, engage. And we'll just put a splitter up here.
it's not gonna work. Must be the wrong height. Uh, let's do it on the ground instead. Copper. And that's still gonna do sheets, and that's still gonna do sheets. All right. We may have enough copper sheets, but probably not. Probably not. Would be my guess. You. No power. I'm silly. Uh, have you ever heard of the miracle sort method? You check the list stack to see if it's sorted. Go away for a while, come back, repeat. Check to see if it's sorted. Keep doing until it's sorted. No. I, like a total chump, started in the rocky desert. Actually, that's the best place to start. Went up to that sunken cove area with all the coal nodes, only to see, saw the two impure nodes for some reason. Built my coal power plant based on that. Completely missed the two normal nodes less than 200 meters away. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, when you miss stuff like that, that's kind of a pain. I think that's about as much as we're going to be able to get. We'll have more pipes when we come back. And we are building everything else, I think, in the background that we need. I cannot yet unlock... Oh, that reminds me. I should show those options. Can't unlock vehicles yet, I don't think. Oh, I didn't choose a... Did not choose a uh, objective in the HUD, in the, not the ma'am. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, the, the hub. So we'll make use of the trip. We will gather as much as we can. I'm more interested in wood because I think it'll be a better source. Just following the coal marker I put on our on our heads up display. Try to figure the um, best route. Let's say I came up the wrong path. This is probably the better path. I'm always at a real crossroads between um, deforesting the whole place and leaving stuff because it looks nice, you know? So I just, I've been here before, so I happen to know that I, the coal is down there. I'm gonna leave that tree. Parking lot, <laughs> parking lot or Amazon forest, no in between. I hear a slug, there's a slug.
that not a bush? I can't do anything with that. Delara, hello! We are doing well in this time zone. Thanks very much. Hope you're well. I think I saw you hanging out in uh, Total Eclipse chat earlier. I was uh, lurking while I was having breakfast. You like the rocky desert for that? I se selectively cut down all the dead tree stumps and left a lot of the actual trees alone. Now that I'm starting with vehicles more and coming down because uh, I'm still leaving a lot of trees up. Yeah. Yeah, I like I like the selection. Um, I think I talked about that last episode or last stream, where you can um, you can choose now. Get those two. I also need nuts for the ma'am, so that's good. So I don't think I'm going to cut any of this stuff down right now. What I'm going to do is probably put up a temporary... Um, a temporary coal thing right here. is out there. It looks like limestone. Man, the water in this game looks so good now. Look at that. How cool is that? Oh, it's coal. Yeah, the single mode on the chainsaw. Great. I agree. Two over there. These ones are the four I think we're going to be using. So we've got normal and normal. Good stuff. Sweet. No choices required. I think we're just going to go with the one that's closest to the water, right? I guess I could just leave that there for now. Let's just go with the one that's closest to the water. Should be right next to me. Oh, I've got to blow up the rock first. Never mind. I guess this is the next closest to the water? Yeah. So we'll go with this one. All right, let's just do something incredibly savvy here. This is always the easiest way to do this.
And we generally want it to spit out that way. Direct line. So sort of probably south. Probably just do south. Mm-mm-mm-mm. And should be able to, I might want to bring that down on the ground, actually. We'll just bring that and then hang a, a left and go down that way. Because it's always going to be easier to bring the coal to the water than it's going to be to bring water to the coal. And this, I think, will make a decent turn. Yeah. up like that. Now I gotta remember how big one of these coal power plants is like. They are large-ish. What is that? Like Four foundations by one and a half. Probably closer to two. Four by two. So this is just going to be a temporary way to get some quick power going from coal. We'll make this lower. So we can probably put the power plants, we can probably fit a couple of them next to each other right here, hey? Eh? Depends on where we can fit the water extractors. Well, we can fit at least two, so that's good. Uh, let's go... Go up one. That should give us enough room. Something I keep on forgetting is to unlock concrete 
um, in the awesome shop because right now this is costing me a lot of plates to set this up and I don't need to do that. So our coal is going to come in there and I think coal and water both go into the same side. Yes. So we'll wrap the coal around and bring it down this way. That should be plenty of room to run logistics. And if I do two of those. Interesting. Most pioneers already had coal power set up by this point because they understood their responsibility to humanity. Adjusting pioneer attitude metrics. Reminder, coal power generators require coal. What I should be doing while I'm doing this is putting down those portable miners. She is really sassy, I agree. I agree. Will they work on here? They might. Sweet. Should have done that at first. So we've got the coal, and now I need to do some math. These guys are not going to show me anything because I don't know. So what's the... I need to look up the rates. Mm -mm -mm. Seventy five megawatts and burns. 15 items per minute. So we'll get 60 out of a normal node. So that one node is definitely going to do both of these. Um, how much water does it need? Water, 180. No, 90. That's only one water. Okay, cool. So I only need one water generator. That's great. Uh, Void Presence says 15 coal and 50 water per minute. Easy breezy. Don't know whether this is going to line up or not. We'll see. Now is that snapping? It looks like it is. Cool. That may indeed be water. Try submerging your arm. <laughs> if it does not dissolve, that will narrow down the range of possibilities. Or you could just pipe it to a coal-powered generator and see what happens. That should be the normal head lift. That's two meters. That's six meters. This has got a 20 meter head lift.
I don't think it tells you. It might tell you in the codex. Uh, oh, water. 10 meters of head lift. I might need a pump. I might need a pump. Which is annoying. And maybe, maybe I should lower this down. Well, we have just enough copper piping. That's good. Uh, we just have to get this going with a biomass burner, I think. I should have enough coal. It's just now a matter of setting up the export. to the side. What I can't wait for is power switches, says Stormdance. I have no clue when I get them or how. Um, yeah, it's in the MAM. I think it's Caterium as well. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Ada's sarcastic. I really like her too. So now what we need is to get the water extractor going and the coal generator going. I'll go get my coal out of my miners. I'm also going to try to bring back some coal so we can do some steel hand crafting. Maybe unlock some stuff. I think this is the smoothest coal transition I've ever done in the game. I'll worry about that after. What I really want to do is just get this self-powered. So I'll put a full stack in here. And then we need to do a bio. I don't think I've brought very much um, biomass, unfortunately. Oh, it already it put down stuff in, in there for me. That's cool. I didn't think it was going to do that. Oh, did I? I think I used up all of my biomass on my chainsaw without realizing it. I forgot that I collected all this stuff on the way over here. That's great. No power. Need. There we go. Getting a little bit of water. Getting a little bit of water. So I'll let that go briefly. And I'm going to go bring down the coal. So now we need to... Probably take this up here.
I gonna make it? No. And then from here, all we have to do is just get this. How do I want to do this? We'll just do it on the side, I guess. Worked out quite well. I guess we'll stick on the inside so we get something to walk on. And I wouldn't mind taking this in high so we don't have to worry about any of this stuff. Unfortunately, I might have to move this pipe for it to look good. Yeah, my bad. Now, will this actually connect the right way? Probably not. I'm not finding that the lifts... Oh, it did. Okay. I'm not finding that the lifts were connecting the way that I wanted them to. You did your coal power a few days ago. Definitely the smoothest. Got eight coal generators up without any issues. Nice. I'm just trying to just give us a little bit of a buffer here. Because once this is self-sustaining, we're good. Oh, it's just a little off. Is that the right height? Yes, it is. So that should be now this sorted. Max consumption is 25. 
capacity. Yeah. So I can get rid of this. And we're good to go. Glad that this head lift worked out. I'll adjust the looks of this a little bit later. This is just to kind of get us up and running. And then I can take back a lot of this. Maybe just leave the corners. Don't want it to look like total garbage. somewhere. There it is there. I'd say that's good for now. Sweet. So as a temporary setup, I think that was pretty painless. There's another pole down here somewhere. Miner should be back on now. Yep. Coal is happening. Let's get our portable minders. Now the question is, do I have enough cable to get all the way back to base? I probably don't. Oh, and we have to get rid of something here. Uh, bu 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 I could probably just ditch the coal. That's fine. Stream time has passed one hour. Yes, thank you. I wanted to get this up and running. Uh, this should be self-sustainable now, so I can probably go on a break and then run things back. That should be good. What are we doing here? We're doing... 150 for two of these and we need 180 so we, I could potentially make the switch to coal power once we run this back uh, I should be able to come over here and add a third or even four like a fourth and that should be our power sorted um, I can't imagine this taking a terrible long time to run back so let's just do that we'll go until the uh, resources run out. Not the prettiest way to do it, but we can do that another another day. When you first start playing this game, this feels super far away. You know, like this feels like a really long way to go. But once you've had time in the game, you're like, this is nothing compared to some of the lines that I've had to run. Fix it later? Yeah, fair. <laughs> Good pun. Now... I want to say the fastest way to get back to that space elevator is going to be to hang a left here. Why 
What is the quicker route? Let me up. Hmm. Yeah, well, let's go down the path. Trying to make sure it's not in the way of trucks in the future. And these things go a lot farther than you thought. That is still connected. That night button message needs to be changed, removed. Oh, what is it about the... Yeah, I need, you're right. I need to tweak that. Thank you. Try to hug the rocks here. We actually brought enough resources. Holy crap. I feel like I should choose this one. There's a spike. Officially hooked up to coal power. That took less than an hour. That's impressive. I really always felt like this was a big bottleneck. You know, I think a lot of this was as painless as it was because the biomass burners are now something that you can auto feed right i think that's um that's one of the things that makes a big difference uh, i can put some wood in there Leaves in there. So that should keep us going for the break. Uh, we have lots and lots and lots of power now. Well above where we need to be. Uh, capacity is at 3.30. Nice. Cool. Uh, I'm due for a break, folks. I take a break once an hour on stream. It gives me a chance to grab another cup of coffee. Uh, as well as gives you a chance to go and tell friends that I have um, started a new safe in Satisfactory. If you want to come and hang out in the chat, we are trying to grow the channel. Tier 1 subs are 25% off over the course of September. Uh, you can also check out the Patreon if you want to join the Discord. Uh, both of those will lead you to the Discord. Uh, right now, um, Patreon is uh, $2 a month, and then Twitch is like whatever your Twitch sub is locally. Uh, Prime sub also gets you access to the Discord. It all leads to Rome, so to speak, uh, which is where we all hang out in between streams. So give me about five or six minutes, folks. I will be right back.
Well, uh, let's catch up. We started off the stream working on Devastator, and unfortunately that save crashed a lot. So we switched over to the Cybertron save, which sounds very similar, right? Because they're both Transformer themed. I think it's going to be a fun way to approach Satisfactory. Uh, but we are now in coal power, and I want to say less than 45 minutes from unlocking coal to get coal power set up in the grass fields. Like, that is slick. Now, granted, I knew where to go. I knew to go to the, the lake to the north of where we started, uh, and um, I think it's going pretty smoothly. We now have 330 megawatts of power, which gives us a ceiling to expand the factory to uh, get things going. So um, I'm going to catch up with chat here a bit. Sweet Sandy, thank you for being awesome. I really appreciate it. Ruben, again, thank you ever so much for that tier one sub. Um, Void Presence says, and because biomass gens are semi-automated, there's kind of a less of a push to get coal. I still have a push to get coal, and I, that might be just because I'm an experienced player, but it's less hectic. You are not running around like a chicken with your head cut off for the first part of the game, I agree. Hope everyone's having a good week. Jake Christ, welcome in. Good to see you. Uh, week has been good so far. Been playing a lot of video games and streaming a lot and growing the community a lot. We had a wonderful raid from It's Bits on Saturday or Monday? Monday. I think it might have been Monday. And uh, it was amazing. It was great. We had a lot of new follows. I, I don't... I have to look back. I'm pretty sure that either over the course of the Satisfactory launch or maybe even during that bits raid, we ticked over from 19.9K followers on Twitch to 20K. We're at 20K followers on Twitch now. I would call the next world Metroplex. That already exists, J. Christ. I did that in 2021. And so I don't want to repeat that. What I did in 2021 was, uh, let me switch over here. I created a huge platform that Cut, like it was up here and it covered the entire biome uh, and it was pulling from all the nodes and um, it uh, it was really cool and I you know I can probably find a screenshot I've got a couple screenshots there's um, this one of the Autobot symbol let me just see let me just see if I can grab another screenshot where's that blueprint uh, thingy Robert T's Let's just put that in the middle of the screen first. Is it locked? It is. And if I can go and find a different image, I think I've got a decent shot. Don't know if I've ever shot. Oh, there's one. Okay. So there's Metroplex. That's the the biome covered by this giant factory. And everything inside those designs on the left and the right are all iron and copper and piping and all kinds of stuff. Uh, that was a lot of fun to do. That was a lot of fun to do. But I don't want to do it again. And that's been part of the problem. I sort of feel like dropping in those builds into into this playthrough is kind of against what I want to do. I don't know. I may do the, the Megatron power facility is something I would totally bring back. But I don't want to build that again either. That was ridiculous. It's not even the machines. It's not so much all the the actual mechanics. It's the it's the design of the space. It's all the measuring. It takes forever. Congrats on 20k followers. Thank you. I'm not sure what we're at on YouTube. YouTube for subscribers on the VOD channel? It's not a lot. Let me just see here. Where's my other window? Uh, I don't know what I clicked on that. Let's go YouTube. VODs. Uh, 
That is the wrong thing. We are at 1.26k on the Joel Duggan Voss channel. I need to update that image too. That's not the best. Not the best image. Alright. So, we brought a bunch of coal back with us. So that means... Uh, we can do a couple things. Vehicular transport. Base steel. We also probably have a lot of this stuff built up as well. Plates, copper piping. Alright, I can probably switch those back now. At least one of these can be doing wire again. Alright, so now we just have to pick a milestone. I'd say probably basic steel production would be a good one. Do we need the vehicles right away? Yeah, I think we go for basic steel. Some of that we can do, no problem. Hundred and fifty rotors and then fifty modular frames. Hundred and fifty rotors and fifty modular frames. So this is where we have to look. I might even want to take a chance and go look for some hard drives and see if we can't get cast screws. Because right now we're only doing four rotors per minute. And I'd like to do a lot more than that. And I think what we can do here is remove the smart plating we're not going to work on the next elevator part for now. So here is where I could split this up and do double rotors, I think. And problem is going to be the screws. We need 200 screws a minute and we are not producing that. We're doing 40. That needs 15. Is it getting 15? Yes. And you are backed up because you're not going anywhere. What do you need for rods? You need 20 per minute. Doing 15. I don't know if I need both of these doing plates. Wait for a minute. So yeah, it's the screws that seem to be the problem. So I say we have to redo our screws and maybe we have to grab another iron node up here, which we do have the headroom for. First though, let's get the concrete unlocked so I can stop wasting all my plates. 
I also need a Mark II belt. Yeah, we've got Mark II belts unlocked. I just haven't been building them. Uh, what I need is the awesome shop. I need a um, awesome sink. Which, I guess, yeah, here's probably good enough. I'm just going to manually put stuff in for now. Missing cable. Power. So, what could we put in here that we can get a couple coupons for so I can unlock just the concrete texture because it doesn't take... Concrete foundation. Oh, oil processing tier five? Really? Oh no, that's the coated concrete. Three tickets is all I need. Um, let's just, I probably have a lot of something in here. Let's do 200 of those. And see what that gets us. Uh, Bally, yeah, still having issues with the Devastator save. We tried it, maybe lasted 20 minutes, and then I bailed. I just don't really feel like dealing with the frustration. It's it's really difficult when you're on stream too, because it's really hard to hide that frustration. I just can't be creative. Like I just do stuff, start measuring stuff, and then I have to start all over again. Ports. Uh, we can unlock. I want the Blade Runner. This is what I want. Research completed. Silica recipe unlocked. New quartz research available. Nice. So I need 50 silica and 10 modular frames. We need yet more quartz. Why ever the coated concrete is listed before concrete? I guess it's alphabetical. Yeah, I don't know either. Organic, I'm not really sure. And modular frames. It was only 10, I think. Unfortunately, the scanner for quartz doesn't give you a chance to find just the little quartz nodes around. So I still need more silica and that's that's the bottleneck and that's annoying. One coupon. That'll probably change after these. There we go. It's faster. Oh, the blades do such a big difference. I agree. Yeah, it's the jumping that's going to get me places. That's where I'm hoping to get to. Uh, in the meantime, I guess I could just front load this and have this do its own thing.
We're working on making a lot of rotors right now. That's the main, the main thing. Morgantic subscribed to tier one, seven months, 25% off. I can't stand things being off. I have to fix that. Thanks very much, Morgantic. That's really kind of you. I really appreciate the support. Are you in the dis Discord? You must be. You must be in the Discord by now. Surely. We should have our three tickets. Yes. So this will unlock concrete, add to cart, by all. Now we can do this. And I believe we get plates back when we do that. Plus it looks cool. Right. I didn't check my uh, inventory. I feel like we got some plates back. So now, though, when we go to build foundations, for example, if I grab that, I can go E and then right click and do these foundations. And this does not cost any plates. Yay. Gonna have to look in funny places to get this thing to line up. I'm just gonna use this other lane here. We'll kind of keep these in their own little space. is normal. Did that actually? Yeah, that did. I think I might have forgot that you could do that. Oh, now it's being weird. Okay. That's not new, but I've not really done it much before. Because I've always been laying out my power pretty... Um, pretty cleanly ahead of time. Uh, let's power these from the back. Same thing with these. Three of four. We have to do this a different way. Let's do this. 
That'll be that. And then we can take those down. I'm pretty sure you were in the Discord, or rather you are again because the sub ran out, yeah. I try not to get too um, too crazy with uh, kicking people from the Discord when the sub runs out because people tend to want to resub live, so I usually wait a few days. Twitch has a grace period as well, like it gives you like a, a bit. So each one of these are going to be pushing out 30 ingots per second, or per minute. And we are going to dedicate, I think, these two to a screw component. Yeah. This is getting kind of tight, unfortunately. I think I'm going to have to move my storage. What's missing is a main bus in this area, which I guess we could put along here. Yeah, we're gonna have to move this. Wait a minute, can I do man research with just one slug? I think I can. Slug scanning and overclock. Oh, hmm. Oh, I need a yellow one. All right, so we'll do this. I need 200 screws, jeez. Can't do that just yet. All right, that's gonna go away. That's gonna go away. It's gonna go away. This is all just storage belts. So we will redo where the storage is going. Everything will just build up in the machines, and that's fine. What I do want is another one of these. Screws, please. 15 rods. I really like this little ability to insert poles. It's much nicer. So now we have 40 screws coming out and joining 40 screws. That needs to be a tier two belt on the other side of this though. Too steep. Huh? I, I've noticed that with other people playing too, depending on where you start it from, it doesn't want to do some connections. It's really strange. So I've got 40 and 40 going to 80. And that now means we've got 40 screws going to each. We're still overloading um, the, the rods. Uh, the screws only need 10 and we're making 15. That's fine. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, so that's that machine taking care of those two things. This is doing plates. 
some for us and some for the reinforced iron plates. I'm going to double check that. And it needs 30, but it's getting 20, so it's not the end of the world. What we could do, though, is split and join this. So let's do splitter. Actually, let's do, do it here. And then we'll do a merger here. And that will have to go match up with this. Still less than 60. Man, the straight build mode for belts when you're going up high like that is fantastic. And then this we can send into our storage. For now, it's just going to do 40 per minute. Which is what this needs. Thirty per minute, so that'll back up. That's fine. Is that working? There we go. Excellent. Cool. So now I have to do the other ones. Uh, we do not have rods. Yeah, I am no longer making rods for rods sake. All of our rods are being turned into screws. So that's what one of these guys is going to be for. Concrete and more. Excellent. So we're just going to bring this down and do... I guess we'll do another couple of constructors. We might want to put these guys farther up the chain. These guys are going to do rods. Oh, we could back some of this up too. How many rods do we need for rotors? 40, right? Yeah. So at least two constructors. the wrong way. Rods. Rods. We'll do a merger. So fast to set stuff up now. Now we need some power. I'm going to bring this across from here. It's 
sneaking up on it a little bit. So we've got rods, and then now we just need to put the rods in these two machines here. Have I not split the screws? Screws have got to be split in three different ways now. Man, once again, we need yet more screws. So that's the old rods belt, right? I think. Right. Uh, it's not going to look very good. <laughs> we, yeah, we may have to reorganize a little bit here. Let's take, yeah, time to move things around a little bit. Who is this rod person? It's fair. Can't really see what's going on, but what I think can happen for some room here would be to move this all the way over here. You do do it. That was a Mark II, right? That's giving us a lot more room. Uh, we can probably eliminate that. Might have got the height wrong on this. Looks like I did. I think it does get a little bit higher. Whoops. Let me go down and check. And I gotta take another break. Oh no! Uh, did I get that right? Usually if it looks right, it's wrong. No, get it wrong. I think it's four. The fact that I can hook this up in two clicks is wild. I think I got that right now. So now this needs, that's doing uh, plates, and these two need to be doing rods. I guess the easiest thing to do here is to split this. It's not going to give us enough rods. That might be a waste of time because this is still only getting... half the screws it needs. So here it might be better to make modular frames. Uh, I could just handcraft the mod modular frames too.
Yeah. I think for now, I'll leave that until I get back from the break. Um, or I guess I should put the rods in here. We're doing 30 rods per minute. Yeah. Now that is a fast way to do some vertical belts. Holy smokes. So at least this will have the rods reinstated. Again, it's just the screws that are being problematic. Yeah, the factory, the, the and this isn't even really a factory. This is just like the starting area, like where I need to, to be to, um, to progress. Now this, Power pulls in the way. Sometimes it's better to do it manually. That's not going to work. That's fine. We've got a decent amount of plates anyway. Cool. Well, while the rest of the night disappears because it is really hard to see, uh, we are going to pop up here. And I'm wondering if it might be a good opportunity now to... Um, to go and update the coal power so that we can turn these off and use them as backup. That's the plan. Uh, anyway, as per usual, quick break once an hour. I'll be right back.
Okay, let's see here. We've got the rods going in. Uh, they're, I guess, waiting for screws before they go any further, it looks like. Oh. Still not as easy to get down as I think it should be. Yeah, it just waits for the rods. Okay. Or the screws, rather. How are we doing for that 150? We've got 103. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Dan. Mind you, their frames. So we can top this up, and that will be, I guess, now 75% of our basic steel production going. I don't want to get into expanding anything until we have maybe some alternate recipes. I just know from experience how much of a pain screws are, and I would really like to have cast screws or stitched iron plates so that we can eliminate screws from the iron plates, uh, reinforced iron plates altogether. Hey, McScrew Gun, how's it going? Oh, did I not? No, maybe. Someone's just calling out. Right. Not the best use of that command. Okay. Uh. Or I guess not the best prompt for me. Thought I had more. Okay, right. we'll just grab some more rods. These should be backed. Yep. Good stuff. It's a real advantage to having slow production in the early game because it gives you an opportunity to um, store stuff without having to store it in a separate container for each one. So I don't want to use the ro the rotors until we're good and ready. On the off chance that I need one, I'm not sure why I would. That's going to be slow. Okay. Let's set up uh, the other constructors. And these are going to do... I guess more screws. That would be 30. So I can probably create a little bit of a bus here. That might be the easiest way to go. Let's do this this way. Try to capitalize on the space a little bit. that is supposed to go. Ingots, rods. We need to get power over here. Now 
we do win. So good. And now we need to make screws. So what I'll do is have this lined up here. Oh, I don't have ramps for those, do I? So we can just split this. This is going to be 30, 10. Just need a merger here. power. Where should I power these from? I guess we'll do the same thing. Screws. 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 So now we are making... 120 screws. This needs 60. And this needs 100. Plus the 40 that we're making? No, 80. Now we've got more than enough screws. Excellent. Um. We are just going to probably merge this or split it. can just go to there. That's 120. But this needs to get split here. Wrong. Man, really getting turned around. Split that off, and that will go to here. Threading the needle? I am. Sweet. <laughs> oh, silliness. All right. 120 screws split into 60. 60 and 60 is going in here. We don't need that. We need... Um, that's now overkill for there. And then we've got 60 joining up another 40 giving us the full 100. Okay, so at least we're good there. I don't mind being overkill because I can actually, um, I could use the backup. Like if, if these start to back up a little bit, then I can still pull screws from my inventory, which is good. 
So that's fine. Uh, this is too slow of a belt. As is that, I think. Yeah. The rest should be fine until these merge. And then that needs to be faster, and that needs to be faster. Now we're cooking with gas. I really wish you could access these machines a little bit faster. Now I should be able to just brute force the rest of those by handcrafting. Hope to get around to playing for the first time. Really, you've not played yet, Bali? Bought it yesterday, but the downloaded install took so long I didn't get a play chance to play. Oh, that's frustrating. Rough. But we just need rotors. I don't think 12 is going to do it. No, we need like 25. Rotors are a beast early game. They are a real pain. We now have 133, so we need 17. Still need to make lasagna for tomorrow first. I have to work thing tomorrow evening and I want to have it done. So my girlfriend just has to put it in the oven to have dinner with the kids. That's really cool and thoughtful. I hope to have some game time left before we go to bed. The adult thing is real, folks. I know, like, I, I do not take for granted how cool my day job is. And I get to do this during my work day. But I, I had to do some food prep yesterday. I cooked a big stir fry at noon. So then I have that for the next couple of nights. I do find that sometimes if I stream later than I plan or if I go to the gym, uh, today's my day off from the gym, but if I go to the gym, I'm not home until seven. I really like having something like ready to go. Um, when I get home, I just have to reheat it. I'll still cook if I get home from the gym if I really want to, but it means I'm not eating until like 8.30. Which when you're starving from the gym, not good. Did that just go to 17? Oh, it did because I'm pulling from rods that are needed. That's fine. Now we should be able to do the rotors. There we go. So this will unlock steel. And that will help us for, I think, some of the other... Either other tiers or the ma'am. Can't remember. I try not to handcraft too much, but sometimes it's just the fastest way to do something. Milestone reached. Coal and iron can be combined in the foundry to start steel production. Project part number two, the versatile framework, can only be created via automation, not at a crafting bench. Delivering these to the space elevator is essential if we are going to complete phase two of project assembly and save the day. Fix it, and humanity is relying on you. Hmm. So that's the thing, is that we needed to get the steel for the frameworks. That was the, the bottleneck there. Okay, so uh, we need to pick a new milestone. Vehicular transport is more of the same stuff. Uh, the Xenobasher, I guess it's hand slot and three inventory slots. That's the main draw here. The Xenobasher is not a big deal because of the way that we've got the creature set up. 
on retaliate. So they won't bug us unless we bug them. Um, I don't care about the jump pads right now. I feel like vehicular is going to be what we need to get to automate steel. Because there's a coal node south of here, but it's really far. And sell setting a truck would be the best way to do it. And then the other ones are blueprints, steel, logistics for three steel. We really want to automate steel. And then power. Yeah. And that's not a big deal because we already have the power set up. So I think the next course of action is going to be vehicular. So I just need to make sure I'm siphoning off some plates here for that. I could just do that now, that's fine. Well, let's check. Let's just let's wait. Let's get some plates going into storage. We really haven't done anything with our copper setup either. That's plates and cable going in there, or plates and wire. And we probably do I guess I could just leave that going. Okay. Fazu Battlecaster resubscribing. The twelve month gift subscription, courtesy of Cosmic Dancer, has entered its fifth month. Thanks to Cosmic Dancer, says Fazu, for my sub gift lurking because of the darn J O B. Fazu, thanks for the shout out for Cosmic. Cosmic, thank you for giving that gift sub to Fazu. That's amazing. Folks, uh, gift subs and subs are 25% off for the month of September. If you'd like to take part in the official Twitch September promotion, then you get access to the Discord, and it does help me out a lot. Uh, we are trying to get to the point where both podcasting and streaming are 100% uh, my full-time gig. Uh, I do it full-time in terms of the... Uh, hours, but I do sometimes still pull in other contracts from time to time. I do graphic design and other stuff. And um, if I can get up to 500 subs on Twitch, then uh, officially the podcasting and the Twitch thing becomes 100% um, what I do. And I can stream more often. I'm doing some bonus streams during September because of, of course, the promotion and also satisfactory launching. But uh, normally I only stream from Wednesday to Saturday. Uh, and usually only for a couple hours at a time. So uh, by getting to that sub goal, I can increase the length of time that I'm streaming during the day, as well as how often. Uh, I wouldn't mind doing streams on like Tuesdays, and um, I think I'm going to leave Sundays off just because I do need a day off every week. Um, there's a chance I might do a Monday evening stream, but I also do the spawn chunks on Monday, and that's a full day, so there is that. All right, so while we're waiting for this to build up, uh, it's going to be a lot faster now, which is great. We're already a third of the way there. I think we should maybe revisit the power and see if we can't get um, our um, coal as our sole method. So we're going to have to add another coal plant or two, uh, and then we can turn off this and just use the coal. So I think that's a good idea. And also, I do know where there is a couple of hard drives. So let's just go see. Um, I guess what I should do is make sure I have enough to build a coal power plant first. We might, if we find any more quartz as well, that'll be great. So we are going to need a 
another two coal power plants. That definitely needs another um, water extractor. And we'll need pipes for all of that. And I guess I should probably build foundry as well and have that make some steel while we're not here. That sounds like a good idea. I think that's it. Belts and pipes and stuff. We know we can, we have all that stuff. I probably don't need that much concrete. Oh, playing for two hours says fix it. Yes, not an uncommon occurrence. And I don't need to have the silica with me right now. I'll make a couple more of these modular frames. Boundaries are pretty big. I should be able to squeeze one in over here, though. Steel needs iron ore and coal. Well, that I know we have. Also, we don't have the solid steel ingot recipe either. Uh, for me, the playing for two hours equals time to let the dog out and give her some attention. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, I look forward to the day when I eventually have a dog. Uh, instead of me in the bottom corner, you might see a doggy cam. I fully intend to integrate whatever canine friend I have into the streaming situation. I can't wait, Dan. I, I unfortunately need to have a house first, so there's a few things that have to happen. That's going to make some steel while we're gone. And I think we're good. Oh, I'm short on rotors, though. Glad I looked at that. All right, so we should be good for a little excursion to coal power area. I wouldn't call it a coal power plant. So while we're going, uh, as I mentioned before, I do a lot of stuff in Satisfactory based on Transformers themes. Uh, obviously, we've been doing Devastator stuff. We've done Megatron stuff. Right now, we're sort of doing more of a broader Cybertronian theme. So Autobots and Decepticons. I'd like to go Autobot right now. I think they're a little bit more brightly colored. So if you were to design a coal power plant after an Autobot, which Autobot would you choose? I'm thinking about not the main ones, like not, I wanna save things like Optimus Prime or Bumblebee or those other really famous ones for like more of a permanent situation, but a coal Autobot power plant. Was there a fire truck? Is Skywing an Autobot? I feel like there was a I feel like there was a, a fire truck. And that might be fun. Red and black, red and white. Red and white would be kind of cool. So this is a little bit of a trek, and we don't have any kind of extra um transport with the the um, zip line yet. 
I am trying to keep my eyes peeled for some quartz, though. So if I get us up to 300 with another two coal generators, I think that should be good. We have to add in one more pipe. Or one more extractor. We don't necessarily need another pipe. You are taking 15 coal per minute. This is giving off 60, so we can add two more. We could probably tighten this up and put them right next to each other. we can keep them spaced out. Probably going to tighten it up. So very briefly, we're going to lose power. Uh, this is only doing 120, and these need 50 per. So I'll need another water extractor. And unfortunately, oh, we can hook you up there. That is going to be great. I'll just hook that in there. Eventually we will redo this. Okay. I think what we'll do is we'll line that up in a way. Yeah, I'll face it that way. Warpath, he's an Autobot tank. Oh, that's cool. I'll look that up. Autobot tank. I didn't I forgot about him. Which is unusual. I'm usually pretty on top of that stuff. So I'm gonna line this up as close to this as I can and then just bring it in. Wonder if I can get this down there. I used to think there was a trick. There we go. Oh, no, that's made it worse. I thought there was a way to line this up a lot better, but again, this is temporary. I shouldn't be too fussed. So I should now be able to get this to line up, I think. I need to get these guys on my hotbar. Uh, six. I'll do foundations on zero. That line up. Almost. Good enough for me. Oh, crap. Didn't want to do that. Yeah. 
I wanted to add a junction. I have to back that up. That will combine into two. Good. It's a little snaky. Now I just need to power that. And then I need to add the other coal power plants. And these are one and a bit. So eight, 10 meters wide. So two, three is 24. Four is 32. So I'll need all five. Production may shut down if I'm not fast enough. are all on the grid and now we just need another one of these oh that didn't work Go there. Snap these to the belts. See, that snaps to the middle, which is annoying to me. Or does it? Oh no. Okay. I apologize. That is correct. So it is a manifold. Don't actually need that there. What I need is just a belt. That looks kind of silly. Let's put that first. And then we just need to do the pipes. can just be a regular pipe. See, now why does that sneak around funny? It shouldn't. at least the first two up before I start to lose my 
my power. Is that right? Why are you lining up? Oh. Weird how you have to add one in there. That should be all of them. So now we've got... You are not hooked up to the grid. Now you are. 4.05. Now we should be able to go back and turn off the other stuff. Wish there was a straight option for pipes too. Yeah, me as well. Should be all of them now. Let's leave that for now. So now we've got at least the four nice and tidy going off of the one node and we've got lots of room for expansion when we need to but this should allow me to turn off the biogens and just have those as a backup which I appreciate I'm assuming he's probably a green tank so we'll go with a green for now Just for fun. Although, classically, I forgot to give myself enough room. Be good. More of a red brown? All right, well, they're green now. Cool. 
So that takes us up to 480, but we're going to be removing a good chunk of that when I get back. And I think we're, that's going to take us back down to 330, maybe? I didn't see any other coal nodes or anything. And I don't remember if there's a hard drive around here, although, take that. Potential edible collected. Reminder that look and smell alone do not provide nope. sufficient data to determine exact risk of consumption. Just because it looks like you can eat it does not mean it won't eat you. Hmm? Hmm? Research hmm? it in the MAM to establish classification and potential application. Just because you can eat it does not mean it will not eat you. That's hilarious. Iron. iron ore. Saw another power slug. I don't see any yellow power slugs. There's a Mercer sphere up there. I do know where at least one hard drive is. It's up over that way. I haven't had much uh, encounters with these big blimp things, which I'm glad because they're so buggy. That gave us some time for these things to build up. Our steel should be done. Excellent. So, we need just a handful more rotors, 25 um I should take all of this over to the other box. There's another near the copper as well. Cool. What I don't have right now is a lot of access to iron ore. It's just, um, it's mostly being used in the machines. They back up a little bit, but our steel production is going to be manual for now. I guess I could put a constructor next to this. Steel beams or steel pipes? I think we want steel beams, don't we? Uh, we will eliminate that and take another pull. Cool. There's our rotors. Feel like we've got the other things. We may not have the cable actually. Oh yeah, we do. 
uh, rotors, cables, plates, and then just left is modular frames. I'm just gonna, there's only 25 of those. I think this will be pretty fast. Then we can use a tractor to go look for um, the, the um, drop pods, crash sites. These take rods and plates, and we're going to run out of rods first. Pretty sure I've got rods backed up over here. Yep. This has been a pretty good setup, I have to say. I've been quite happy with the speed. I think the only thing that's bugging me now is, is traversing... Um, just how compact I've made everything. There we go. Another milestone. Milestone reached. Tractors permit pioneers to move around the world in a manner similar to using legs, except with wheels and the rampant consumption of natural resources. <laughs> they can also be automated to self-drive and deliver resources between truck stations, which in turn facilitate automation of loading, unloading, and refueling. Excellent. I would like to know how much it costs to build a tractor. Not much. All right, time for me to take another short break. Thanks for the reminder, Sweet Sandy. Pro player, welcome in. Uh, you are just in time to uh, witness the hourly break that I have. And actually, before I do that, I should probably uh, disconnect that. So then now we have 480, 300. So we're, we're a lot closer to our capacity, but at least we no longer are pushing um, this. I don't mind... This only pulls power when it's running, right? So these aren't going to burn anything. Yeah. Actually, let's just... Turn that off for now. And these things are just going to be idle. Yeah, okay, perfect. Cool. All right, folks, once again, I take a break once an hour. Gives me a chance to stretch. Uh, gives you a chance to grab a friend and say, hey, maybe you should come watch Joel on Twitch. I would really appreciate it. We're trying to grow the channel. And word of mouth is the easiest way that you can do that. It's free and it uh, helps bring in new people. So give me about five or six minutes. I will be right back.
And the sun is coming up just in time. Now, do we have anything else that we can research in here? I feel like we have the um, nutrients. Yes. Thank you, Sweet Sandy. Thank you, Dan. Pro player, if you're still around, welcome in again. This mushroom, dubbed bacon agaric, due to its uncanny resemblance to raw bacon, is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. Further research is available. I think we have enough nuts as well. This fruit, dubbed the barrel nut after its distinctive color, is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. Further research is available. Wow, Nutri nutritional processor. That's uh, a lot of stuff we don't have. Mycelia, don't have stators yet, don't have that. Uh, I could make fabric, I think. I just need biomass. Nope, wrong thing. Do, do, do. Uh, 50 fabric. And one rotor or a hundred rotors a hundred rotors but does it say a hundred rotors that's ridiculously expensive yeah never mind can I just make stators myself guess not they must be part of the next tree yeah that's why okay what do we want for our next goal um, enhanced security does not really seem to be Something I'm too worried about. So really, I think probably blueprints or logistics. Logistics is a little cheaper. And we'll probably run into that before we need other stuff. So let's go that way. All right, I can put some of this stuff away then. Gappy the guy, hello, hello. Uh, I don't need that on me. I don't need that on me. I think we're good there. Uh, when did that pretty face become a thing? I got a new camera. I bought it for... Um, I bought it for the spawn chunks, and I'm f trying to figure out how I'm going to get it back and forth, because I think I'm going to use it here on um on twitch although i'm unsure if i'm going to be using this camera or if i'm going to be using the sony a6100 uh because most of the time on twitch i'm just this little uh, image in the corner i don't need the best best camera so there's a good chance i'm probably going to use the sony so what i need to do um, i'm using the elgato mounting system and what i need to do is i need to pick up some tripod foot or some mounting foot attachments that will allow me to snap the camera in and out very easily and then it's just a matter of spending like 20 bucks or 40 bucks on a couple of extra cords leave the cords on this machine and then plug other like leave other cords in the machine behind me because i podcast from the mac so i go back and forth
I guess I could auto feed this if I really wanted to. Alright, I think we're good. What I need now is hard drives. I know there's at least one over this way. Oh, I also wanted to build a tractor, didn't I? Right. It's probably going to be easiest for us to go on foot. I don't think the fact tractor is all that much faster. Considering the limitation on your terrain. We're also keeping an eye out for quartz, and it's not 40. So I can get rid of this. I love that we can do this while we're moving. I don't have to stop and be in the inventory. Requires power. Uh, that's right, we can figure that out. I got biomass with me. There it is there. We'll also pick up a couple of extra bits too. I know one of the things that uh, Total Eclipse was doing was using parts around these crash sites to farther the awesome sink and get the decoration stuff unlocked first. The pairs needed needs 40 watts. That only 30 megawatts. Sorry for all the noises. There we go. I don't like that mechanic. It should be a button. Damaged hard drive successfully acquired. All pioneers are contractually obliged to preserve and secure any recovered hard drives for analysis in the MAM, which may result in benefits to the Fixit mission. Speculation as to why there are crashed freighters in your Fixit designated zone is discouraged as specified in your contract. <laughs> Don't pay attention to the crashed things that you came down in. What happened there? That must be a MAM unlock to have it on the scanner. Okay. Oh, I should mark that as retrieved. Just so I know that I was here. Uh, what's a good gray? Let's just go with like a neutral. And let's say drop pod. Retrieved. I don't remember. I know there's more over this way. There's one over there as well. But I don't remember what they require. And I didn't bring a ton of stuff. Do 
There's another one over that way, I think. I could just look it up on the Satisfactory Calculator website. There's a yellow power slug for us, though. This is where I put my space elevator on my first playthrough. I was building up over there. Ran out of space real quick. You certainly don't need the nuts as often when you're not when you're not playing with animals attacking you. Like you don't really in, end in uh, altercations that much. I think a lot of this is going to be basic stuff. I don't think we're going to get anything fantastic. Three routers is fine. Oh, there's a doggo. Do I have pale berries on me? I do. Sweet. What I should do is build the man. So the research on the man is global. Uh, so you can have that research even if it's not um, visible. Where did he go? Saw him. Oh, there he is. Yay! Now I think he follows me. Doggo with a long name. What's a good Cybertronian name for the doggo? What was a good... What's a little transformer? What's a little transformer? Like really small. Wasn't Chip the human? Spark plug? Spark plug and chip, I think. I think that works. And you just follow me around? I guess you do. I guess we'll go this way. If I run, do you keep up? Everybody says yes. Um, from the film? He's having a hard time. The AI is not the best. You are not following, I guess. Do you teleport to me if I get too far away? I know the doggos are kind of bugged. I know they're not the best. Total Eclipse had theirs uh, disappear. He had it in a pen and everything. Alright, so much for that. I have very little patience for stuff that's bugged. I'm just like, well, I'll just do it when it's not going to be a pain in the butt. I think I have to sacrifice a hard drive in order to be able to scan for hard drives, and I don't necessarily want to do that. Oh, quartz, hello. Don't think that's going to be enough. We'll see. Where are the other hard drives? 
It's kind of taking the long way just to kind of see if there's anything at all that catches me. Uh, did the Soundwave cassettes have names? Yeah, uh, Ravage, uh, Rumble, uh, Razorbeak. I'm trying to remember the other ones. There were several. So we needed Silica. Almost there. Quartz. 50 silica. Yeah, this is not going to get us there. Really close. Frustratingly close, as a matter of fact. What I should do is put a lot of this stuff next to the ma'am. Oh, I want a little box here. Nope, little one. Five short, annoying. Slow but steady. Isn't the first time using a hard drive uh, since the change? I don't understand the question, Dan. Is this the first time using a hard drive since the change? Yes. Right, these are both being stored, I want to say. What I need is more cable. We'll do that. And we also have tickets. I think they're in there, but I turned it off. Does this have? No. Let's... Guess we'll circle around the horn. Now, is there anything particularly useful that we can get for cheap? I don't think the floor holes are going to come in handy just yet. Clean pipeline. Signs are unavailable. Not too much worried about that. 
stairs. We're okay with ramps, I think. Walls and doors I'm not too worried about. A ladder would be handy. Hmm. Do we do the ladder? Or do we go for some of the pipe stuff? I'm not ready to start building buildings yet, I don't think. Interesting. I'd probably get more use out of um, the ladder, I think. I really can't decide. Man, research complete. Well, maybe that'll point us in the right direction. Hard drive analysis completed. Alternative recipe selection available in the MAM. Charcoal and steamed copper sheet. None of those are something I need immediately. So we'll scan another hard drive. You know, I think I'm okay. Is there anything else? Yeah, we're not quite at the level where I think we're going to need anything like that, so I'm just going to put the tickets in here for now. Uh, if I re-roll... I'll re-roll after I try the second hard drive. Just by, by having that one in there, it eliminates um, a potential um, duplicate. So, do it that way. We're almost halfway on the... Uh, on the... Um, steel. Reinforced iron plates is a lot, though. What I could do is just belt this up. So we're working on steel and steel pipes, beams and pipes. So I would say other than just now expanding into producing things a little bit faster, I need to think about getting some coal coming back this way automatically. Because we are not yet automating. Do 
Do I have any excess that I can just toss into? I can probably spare a few of these. Get a few more tickets while we're waiting. You are just doing nothing. What could you be doing? You could be doing other things. Modular frames. Yeah, so I think what we need to do is get a truck and a truck station down to the coal to the south. So we'll grab, say I say truck, I mean tractor. We'll need two of those. I'm gonna need a miner. So, I guess I could just bring the truck back to the other side of the base. Makes sense. So, has anybody in chat um, started over uh, after spending a lot of time in Satisfactory? Do you find that it's going well? Or are you more of a race through the beginning so that you can get to back where, to where you were? And I'll need some fuel for the tractor. I'm going to need to hook up some iron ore there, too. Tractor, let's go. I don't think you can name the tractors, can you? You can paint them, though. Tractors can use any type of fuel and have a self-driving feature, much like Pioneers, only more reliable. While driving, you can record a path to automate vehicle resource transportation. Unlike early self-driving vehicles, tractors will not spy on you. Mm -hmm. Your employee data is already fully subject wow. to other means of surveillance. Unlike early self-driving vehicles, tractors will not spy on you. Very well played. I dig it. That's funny. All right. Scan for coal. We'll mark it on the map. I know roughly where it is. Looks like it's right there. Oh, wrong color. I think maybe the bumblebee colors would be good for this one. So, bumblebee was black. And I'm just going to do a custom one. Yellow would be the main.
Very bright. But very yellow, I would say about there. And then let's not go dead black. Let's go with something more like a dark, dark gray. And let's do shiny. Is that too banana yellow? It's a little yellow. Let's just dial that back a little bit. Good. I think this is faster. Oh, I think I just ran over a bird. Whoops. Established dom dominance. That was a funny. That was a funny little note. There's the coal over there. Really not that far away. So I think the best course of action here is to bring it up to the top of the hill and put a truck stop up there. So somewhere around here, we'll do a truck stop. And they are rather large. as big as I remember. It's fine. Not as big as I remember. Uh, maybe we'll do this way. Probably better to do this way. Does it show you the actual... It used to show you the range of like where the pickup area was. I wish they would just make these fit on one foundation sometimes. <laughs> Or two, like I wish they would make them evenly. Just over the middle. Yeah, like you can't center it on three foundations. It's annoying. People that like to line things up. Augustine likes to piss you off. Okay. Um. It's probably good. Fix it reminds you to drive vehicles accurately through a truck station's dock area while recording a path. This ensures it will connect properly once everything is automated. The truck station can be set to load or unload, and can also refuel vehicles. Unlike some pioneers, truck stations care about saving humanity. Unlike some pioneers, truck stations care about saving humanity. That's great. That should be all the ramp we need.
should be good as well. Okay, now we go get the coal. I want to say maybe there. Pretty close. Maybe we'll go one next to that. This is where it pays to really have a lot of your concrete saved up and getting this unlocked in the in the awesome sink or awesome shop really saves on resources too I can get it there. Maybe. Minor. Uh, it's kind of buried. Go with one meter lower. I like what Total was doing with his miners. He was kind of leaving them open in the middle, kind of like making a little bay around them. It's cool. Good enough for now. And then going back this way. We will probably have to go up. This has got a cool way of of doing this. Gives you like a cool lead up. Gives you like a, either a straight at the top or a straight at the bottom, depending on how you um, how you hook it up. I guess I could have gone there. Just out of curiosity, what does that look like? That doesn't work. Yeah, all right. Well, I guess it has to be there. But now it looks weird.
Not that you have to be this picky with it, but... I feel like it's giving me a different angle than I had the first time. Weird. Uh, this is 120. I guess I'll just build a tower maybe here. Raccoon of the Apocalypse. Hello. Oh, do I not have any biomass? No, I don't need biomass. Crap. All right. Oh. straight shot right to here. And let's do something at least a little attractive. Oh, I don't have upside down ramps. Never mind. Uh, we're just going to go brute force then. Oh, that doesn't look good. We'll put it all the way into here. I don't like building over pits. Uh, Raccoon, how did you find the stream? Are you a Spawn Chunks fan? Are you just a Satisfactory fan? Maybe you came in with that Bits raid the other day, which was super nice. Yeah, I think that's fine. And what do we got here? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Got to remember to use the right speed for the lift. Uh, went with a bus design, and oh boy, does it really take time doing the bus, yeah. Um, you play Satisfactory? I, in fact, I just spent eight hours redesigning my base from scratch. Well, that's par, par for the course, right? That's generally how it goes. We are eventually going to hit that point on this playthrough where I'm going to have to delete the things that I've done. And actually start building dedicated factories. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11 again. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we've got coal. Put that there for now. And then this is the fuel, so we'll need a splitter there, and then we need an input there. Pretty straightforward. Just need a little belt there, and we'll use a big belt here. Now, I don't know if I can do this in one swoop, but we'll just do it like that. Cool. So now the only thing we need out here is power, which I probably should have brought with me when I came out. Very simple. Very straightforward. is a tree. Doesn't steer very well. So we'll put the input over here. And let me just think about where we want to put our steel. So we don't really have we don't really have coal coming or uh, iron coming in automatically. We could bring some in though down this way. So my idea would be to probably have the truck station about here. Yeah. I just realized I had to build two truck stations, not one. Right, looks like we have the chance. Um, I think I'm going to put it the other way around. Probably better. Give ourselves some room. need the ramp. And probably just duplicate that. So we have a nice wide ramp. Now 
Nice. Just enough room to turn around. And then we can just take the coal and give ourselves a little bit of a buffer here. So we're going to have to do a splitter here again. Filling up there. I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, but then the output here. This is going to need to be a bigger belt, I think. And then this can just go down and do whatever it needs to over here. I didn't really line that up very well. That's the output anyway. Sorry, we can actually have this be maybe over here. Uh, logistics. Where am I going? Production. Starting to get complicated, eh? Don't want there to be room for that thing to turn around. You're not doing anything, are you? Let's remove that. And we'll start the foundry over this way. Maintain our lane sort of deal. I love the fact that you can see these dotted lines when you line it up right, sometimes. Why is it not showing? There it is. Splitter. This would also be a splitter. That should still work. We'll see. Uh, thanks for the heads up, Dan. Appreciate it. We should probably take a break where it's nighttime, just to kind of stay on top of those breaks. I do want to get this hooked up before we wrap up today. I feel like I'm kind of in the middle of a task, so if you're new to the stream, uh, as Raccoon may be, then uh, I do take a break once an hour, just five or six minutes to step away, refresh my drink, and when we come back, we will uh, hook up this truck and get coal coming into the base so that we're not uh, falling behind on steel production. So just give me a few minutes, folks.
All right, sun is coming up and we are back here to get back to business. Now, uh, I need to double check the math on our power. I may have to uh, get more power going. I mean, I could hook these back up again, but I'd much rather do it with coal. So we are, oh, we're really down here. We've got, it could be that some stuff is stuck. Thanks, raccoon. No, I think we've got the room. I think we can do it. I think we're good. Uh, I'm going to continue this line down this way. This is going to be the power that leaves the base. You are now hooked up. What do these guys take for power? 20 megawatts. Holy crap. All right, we might be we might be pushing our limits a little bit. Uh, so now it's just a matter of hooking up the other ones and running the the lines. So where would the path for the tractor go? Unfortunately, or oh, this is going to be a pretty straight line. I'm not too worried about that. We can actually just run this probably to the edge of this. Just to kind of keep it tidy and off the road. And then I'm just going to run a straight line. It's a lot closer than I thought, actually. Should be able to just attach this up here. Perfect. We will just line this up this part done now the power down this way I'll just run off of this I could get fancier with this later on if I wanted to but for now we'll just run the poles um, the two coal nodes are close enough to your base if uh... oh I've got power um, coming from uh, up here We've got power happening up here. This is just for me for steel. Thanks, though. Down there. Same area? Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've always started... With the exception of one time I started in the Northern Forest, which is my main save. My other temporary saves or starting over with a new, um, I wish I'm call it, new update. Uh, I've always started in grass fields. It's just, I find it faster for me to get up to speed because I know where stuff is. There's coal. I forgot to bring stuff for the chainsaw. Whoops. Should be running.
What I should have done was bring the tractor out, but I guess I couldn't have placed the poles with the tractor. Uh, this is going to be loading. And that should be good. And we are... Still, our consumption is okay. Not bad. If we had everything going at once, I think we'd be in trouble. Use the two nearby coal nodes for steel production, and I still don't have enough. I need to get another node to base. Yeah, I think I'm going to make steel in a different place eventually. What I should do is grab that. Now, when we eventually have uh, Noblux explosives, we can blow these rocks up, but I'm, for now, I'm going to have to drive around them. That's fine. I may actually just go around the whole, the whole thing. It might be easier just to go around it. And I think I'm going to make uh, another tractor. I need more. I always forget that these guys have got a crafting bench in them. So I think Bumblebee is going to be the one running, and I think uh, Cliff Jumper here. I wish you could name the tractors, but I don't think you can. No. You could probably name the roots, maybe. Colors. Uh, that's very black. Let's reverse that. Let's go... Remember, Cliff Jumper was one of my favorites. He was just like a clone of Bumblebee. And let's just call this. That is bright. Like it. And so now, I guess we have to do the whole uh, record the root thing. Oh, I've got no, no juice. See if I can get this in the first try. I don't like the changes they've made to vehicles. I think it was update. I think it was update eight that they did it. And I am not a fan. Unload, please. All right. Uh, is it E? No. Q. Start recording. Yeah, definitely going to be easier to just go straight out and around. Thread the needle. I've built a space elevator right where I shouldn't have built a space elevator. It might even be faster to do a belt. This is so close, but whatever. We're here now. Get a load. Hello? Oh, it's because I'm... But how do you... 
how are you supposed to set and record a path? Are trucks broken? It's not because I'm in it. It's always done it when I'm in it. How, how can you record a path if the thing isn't in it? Like, it's just, it's not unloading. Oh, I've got it. Have I got it backwards? No. Operational. What's the deal? That's dumb. What's the problem with trucks? Kind of an essential part of the game. Yeah, it's meant to load, so it's loading. And the receiving one should be set to load. That this this should be set to unload. This is where I'm getting the coal. Vehicle settings. Load. Load the vehicle. But it's not doing anything, which is what I'm confused about. Like, what's the deal? That's dumb. I spent all that time setting it up and it's not going to work? It's powered. It's got coal. It's set to load. It says it's operational. Well, that takes the wind out of your sails, doesn't it? Let's just manually put some in here. I guess drive back to the other station and see. They just don't work.
No, it doesn't do anything driven manually or not. Nothing happens. Do you have to hit F? Do you have to do it manually? Why do you have to do it? Didn't it do it automatically before? Did that come up before? I don't think it did. If it did, it needs to be a lot bigger. Go, bird. It did press F to load. Thanks, Canada Raz. That's just me having played the game before. And uh, having it do that automatically. You had to wait for it. It seems a lot faster now. I feel kind of dumb. But I think it's because they put it over the tractor. If it was above the tractor, I probably would have caught it. I even got a little jump in. Isn't that sweet? Uh, F. And then... Q. And then... Did I stop the recording? It only recorded a circle? Yeah, we're gonna chase it. I'll try to beat it there. Run faster. <laughs> It's going to be wild because the thing drives a lot faster on autopilot than it does when you actually drive it. Well, it is significantly faster than you, actually. I'm surprised. It doesn't feel like it when you're on it. I think a lot of that is just because I'm used to hypertubes and stuff. Yep. The jump got recorded. That's good. I feel like the nodes are a lot cleaner now. I mean, it doesn't look like it's picking up from the tractor because, of course, it picks it up before it gets underneath it. So the animation's a little bit wonky. But, okay, let's... Uh, save. Enter the name. Why did you shoot so far off? Where are you going? is up with that? That was weird. Like, why did it go all over the place? The, the, there's obviously a lot of things they need to really fix. If I put you here, well, one, you're empty. Right. So we'll get you on one of the other nodes.
Load path. Enable autopilot. Let's hide the path nodes. Enable autopilot. And then get off the thing. Alright, hopefully that's working. They sometimes do that, do they, Delara? Also, have to be careful not to get run over. Bumblebee drives like a bat out of hell. Uh, Rachel Oxley, or Rachel Oxy. Thanks very much. It's my favorite hat. I only have a couple, but I do like it. Okay, so now we've got coal coming in, and we need to have steel coming in. Plus, we need to power this. And to do that, I'm going to go power the backside. doesn't work very well. Let's do a little bit farther away. See if it's come back. It's must have gone around again. Okay, so now we just need to bring over the iron. this was easier. So we just bring the iron down this way. And I think I'm going to go up high with this or higher with this. Uh, this is going to be 60. The game says four hours. Is that the right? That is a weird noise. They definitely get your attention with it. That's for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and a bit. For now, we can just put it into one, and if we need more, we can get more.
Yay for automated steel. I think I'm just going to do the thing. Just to keep it easy. And then, don't need that. And we can turn this guy around, I guess. Power the miner. Usually helps. I don't have any alternate recipes, although I need to check the ma'am. Uh, thanks for the reminder. Good. Glad that we've got the steel at least partially. Sorted. I might put another constructor because we need pipes as well. This is going to be super slow. Because uh, this needs... Well... We're putting out 60 and it's getting 45, so... It's got more than enough coal. What is this producing? 45 and this needs 15. I could absolutely add another constructor. And do pipes and that needs 20. That's 35. That was close. Yeah, the animation is weird. He doesn't stop at all. It happens before he actually stops there. Raccoon of the Apocalypse, thanks for the follow. I really appreciate it. The community grows. The community grows. Pipes and beams. And I guess we might as well put this into a bin. Because we need more than we can actually hold in the machines. I think. How much do these stack to? Oh, they stack to more than 100. We're good then. We should be fine. Perfect. Amazing. Automated steel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll say starter.
And then the question is, max consumption and capacity is now somewhere is in the bad news zone. Even though consumption is very, very low, because we're not always consuming. I guess I could just put this in here. We've got definitely more coal coming in than we can use because we've got 120 per minute. We only need 45. So it's overkill. Um, 118 items per minute. Cool. Close enough. I don't know, I don't, I don't know why it's not 120. But. Let's check the ma'am. Steel cast plate, heck no. Alternate fine concrete, also no. I'm going to re-roll this one. Uh, iron pipe? I will take the iron pipe. I think. I forgot that the re-roll happens instantaneously. Let's re-roll this one too then. Miner and iron wire. I think iron wire is probably a good one to grab, but I don't need it right now. And I don't think I need the iron pipe. So again, we've got two that we want, which is good. But what I really want is cast screws and stitched iron plates. Oh, put a couple in the truck. That's a good idea. Thank you. <laughs> I love the little jump. That's awesome. There we go. Like Tony Hawk. Imagine you're going to park yourself right here. So when we need to go to coal, we can. May have to rethink that. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze. How did you get up here? I didn't know you did that. Maybe because I didn't get rid of him? Uh, with cast screws, he feels like you can skip it. Oh, if I get stitched plates before cast screws. Well, we still need screws for rotors right now. That's the problem. So I'd really like to have cast screws for, for that. some of this for now. Okay. What are we doing for stuff here? We got lots of goodies there. This isn't hooked up to anything. So it's really a matter of where we are with the reinforced iron plates. Uh, 
not at 400, I can tell you that. I do get some weird blooms sometimes, depending on what the clouds are doing. It'd be very bright. It doesn't look bad, it's just different. So I think the next thing is to expand the coal power. Yeah. And then I guess at that point we need to start thinking about actually doing dedicated lines. So right now, this is all just kind of starter stuff. And in order to scale up, I'm going to have to get the next, like, I can't really scale up until we get to the Logistics Mark III. Um, but this is actually pretty organized, I have to say. This this came together, I didn't feel like I was waiting around for much. Like, I feel like we kind of went from one phase to the next pretty easily. I think the thing that I've made the mistake um, before where... I grabbed too many of the iron nodes. Like, I grabbed all three iron nodes right away. And you just end up with just trying to do too much stuff. So having that iron node available for steel when we needed it, I think, was was good. Where are we in terms of time, actually? Um, Ten hours to get to automated steel? That's pretty good. If I was a crazy monster streamer, that would be like a day. Maybe two. That is, that's one compact base. Can't do these. Um, uh, I'm way not enough organized. <laughs> yeah. I think another big thing that I did is that I combined things. I didn't put everything into its own bin. So like this has got three different things in it. This is just manual storage. Um, we're using the machines to build up stuff. So where is the quartz, by the way? I'm going to mark this down. I know it's like up here somewhere. It's really far away. Here? Oh, that's closer than I thought. There it is. I think that's probably the easier one to get to. Large infinite supply. Where is it over there? Must be up on the hill. Yeah, dead straight that way. On the other side. Oh, it's way in there. Okay. 
that may or may not be closer than the other one. That's probably another truck route. Not pink enough? There. Saw that coming. We're really close to the um, to the um, gas too, unfortunately. Well, that didn't take long. We are only 40, 30 ish. How long does that take? 20 per minute. Yeah, we'll, we'll unlock the next phase. Oh no, I don't have enough uh, reinforced plates. Yeah, I've only got half the plates. All right. Oh, well. Still, I think we're in pretty good shape. I think we are in pretty good shape. So this is essentially a very disorganized or partially automated storage room. This is essentially what we've got going here. I know I'm full on concrete too. Cool. Semi-organized. Manually automated storage. Yes. For sure. Alright. That, I think, is where we're going to have to leave it because I don't have... Yeah, I can't even craft the plates and it would take me forever. So, I think that's a good place to stop it. Uh, we've got um, automated steel and we are at tier 4 point something. Uh, technically we're at 3.4, we'll say tier 4. Save it. Tier 4, automated steel, um... We'll just say working on tier 4.2, tier 4. Save. And I'll leave a note for myself to expand coal power. And then the next one is going to be uh, unlock tier 4.2. Logistics. Cool. Well, folks, that is where I'm going to wrap things up. Thanks ever so much for uh, hanging out for the day. Let's just switch things over here. Uh, we are going to be streaming again tomorrow at 1 o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours for folks that are abroad. Uh, I'm in the Atlantic time zone in Canada, in case you didn't know. Uh, thank you ever so much for all the support. Uh, we had lots of follows, lots of gift subs and, and tier ones. Uh, again, Twitch has got that 25% off. So if you do want to join the community, uh, it's 25% off your tier one subs. You can also use your prime sub. Prime sub comes with your Amazon prime subscription. 
and uh, you can send that to any creator really so just use it to f make sure you're supporting your favorite creators because it's great it's, if you've got access to it it's free for you so um uh, we all really appreciate it there's also the patreon if you'd like to join the discord uh the tier one subs the prime subs and the patreon all lead to the same discord and that's patreon.com slash joel duggan it's only two dollars a month keeps me streaming uh, right now we're doing extra streams because of the satisfactory launch but normally we stream wednesday through saturday uh, and we mix in minecraft lego on fridays and now satisfactory so there's a mix of things going on uh, the plan right now is to play satisfactory for the rest of the week uh, and then we will switch to minecraft on at least saturday because of course i do the spawn chunks podcast on mondays and i need to have at least a little bit of playtime in minecraft to have something to talk about with johnny on monday and i saw that they now have dyed bundles in the new snapshot so we'll be talking about that on monday uh, in the meantime i'm at joel duggan on twitch on twitter and on instagram uh, if you want to go and follow those locations you'll get notifications i do tag everyone in discord when i go live as well and let people know about any changes in schedules in discord so uh, if you want to join the discord that's the number one place to get my updates but i also post things on twitter when like i have to stream an hour later or whatever uh, that's all happening on social media so thanks again folks uh, once again i really appreciate all the support y'all are awesome i will see you tomorrow bye for now